Hi, I'm Margaret from Heidi and Lana, and today I'm going to show you how to do the finishing steps for the Haven pillow. So how to seam it and then make a tassel and then attach it with the wooden bead. If you have a yarn tail attached to your project, either from the cast on or bind off, you can go ahead and use that to seam the pillow with if it's long enough. So on this end, I did have a long enough one from my bind off, but at the cast on edge, I did not. And so I just attached a piece of yarn by leaving a six inch tail and weaving it in on the inside and then just using that new piece of yarn for seaming. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be using these, the series of these that are the cast on or bind off. And I'm gonna be going through, if you're looking at it this way, it's gonna be the outside part of the V, so over here and then over here. Or if you're kind of putting them together, then it's gonna be like the top ones. So this one here and this one here. And so you just wanna find the first one. So I'm gonna go under here and then go directly across from it. Actually, I think that's kind of where it ended. So let's go into here. I'm just gonna pull that through and then I'm gonna go to the next one and then directly across from it, and come back through. And go over to the next one and directly across from it almost like you're like lacing something up by zigzagging back and forth. So then over to the next one and directly across. Let's do one more here. And so I'll just continue like that for the rest of the pillow until it's closed. And then I'll take the tail that I have left and take it to the inside and just weave it in, kind of bury the end as best as I can. It's gonna be a little bit harder on this end because the pillow will be completely closed and I won't be able to flip it to the wrong side, but I'll just bury it in so you can't see it. So the next step is really optional, but I think it adds a cute little touch to the pillow to make a tassel and then attach it with the wooden bead. And so I'm just gonna start off by making a tassel. I just hold the end down here with my thumb. And I did 25 wraps for this tassel. And so I think it's nice to make them all the same if you can and just count the wraps. So once you have the tassel as thick as you would like it, and you can do this part of the tassel with the main color or the contrast color, or you could even do a contrast or a combination of both and wrap both yarns at the same time. I think that would be really cute too. So I'm using the main color for this part of the tassel and then the contrast color to wrap it with. And so then I just have a cut piece of the contrast color, but I'm just gonna wrap around this section here. I like to do it several times so that it really shows nice. And then just pull it nice and tight. And then I just tie a knot. And then now you're gonna wanna take another piece of yarn, the yarn that you're gonna attach it to the pillow with, just cut a nice length. And I've gotta grab my needle here. You'll just want to thread your yarn through the tapestry needle and then I'm just going to go under all the strands of the tassel 
And then I'm gonna thread both ends through the needle like that. And then I'm gonna go through the wooden bead. And then at this point, you can go ahead and slide the tassel off of the tassel maker. Just snug that up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the loops down here at the bottom. And now we'll attach it to the pillow. And what I did for the other one is I just took my threaded tapestry needle and I just caught a little bit of the knitted fabric, a few strands right at the corner like that. And then I went back down through the bead like that. And then I just wrapped this around and tied a nice secure knot right at the base of the bead. And then just thread the tapestry needle again. And I just took the strands down through the center of the tassel and then they just blend in with the rest of the strands of the tassel. One of them is caught. There we go. And then, then I'll just trim all of these the same length. And then to hide, since I did the contrast color for this part here, I just threaded these through the tapestry needle. And then I just took those to the center of the tassel as well. And then just trimmed them kind of short so that they don't show. If you were using a mixture of the colors, it totally wouldn't matter for those strands to show where you'd wrapped it but I just didn't want these ones to really stand out since there was just the two of them. And then I just trimmed them like that. And then you can go back through and trim the strands of your tassel to get it nice and even. And if you wanna shorten it up so it's not quite as long, you can also do that as well. So those are the finishing steps for the Haven pillow. Thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Ravelry, Instagram, and Facebook under Heidi and Lana.